OMC determine the prices rather than the National Petroleum Authority. So what someone asks, what is deregulation? It basically means the removal of government control on petro petroleum products, prices, and the removal of restrictions on establishments and operations, including refineries and depots and all that. So it means that a private OMC, I don't want to mention anyone for, for promotional purposes, but they can set up their own depots and all that. But David, government still has control. So if anyone says government has no control over the price of petroleum products, I say it's palpable falsehood. There are three basic determinants that goes into the pricing of petroleum product the world market which government has no control over the exchange rate and also taxes um i struggle to understand why anybody looking at the exchange rate and also taxes who say government has no control over indeed the vice president the head of the economic management team uh, taxes are also levied by government we don't put taxes on on our own product but david that said let me just give you some little history from 2015 on the price of petrol averagely so i take the prices let's say at january at December, then you do the averages. 2015, petrol was selling around 2 cities, 77 pesos. Diesel was selling at 2 cities, 64 pesos. When it comes to 2016, averagely, for the entire year, petrol was selling at 3 cities, 67 pesos. Diesel was selling at 3 cities, 67 pesos. When it comes to 2017, petrol was selling at 4 cities, 47 pesos. Diesel was selling at 4 cities, 46 pesos. When it comes to 2018, averagely, petrol was selling at 4 cities, 93 pesos. Diesel was selling at 4 cities, 93 pesos. When it comes to 2018, 19 petrol was selling at 5 cd 35 pesos diesel was selling at 5 cd 35 pesos then you reduce to 2020 petrol averagely was selling at 7 4 cd 74 pesos diesel was also selling at the same price 4 cd 74 pesos 2021 when you do the average we are now hitting 6 cd 60 pesos 6 cd 60 pesos as at november 2020. but what what, what he means is that there are people who might be selling it above that figure above that but because, averagely yes when you, average, yeah, i understand when you take about 10 mm. omcs and yes. you strike the yes. average yes. yes yes but david let's know that let me mention it let's know that some of the prices the reason why they are is that when you take shell total and gold they just make up about 60 percent of the price market mm. so it means that normally their price you know have a certain leverage on there and no one the there's is hovering around at 6.90 6.9 mm. that's why i work at the averages mm. yeah so david when you come to january 20 2021, when you started the year after the the ulitide period in December 2020, we were selling petrol around and diesel the same price around 4 cd 85 pesos. 4 cd 85 pesos. Well, my check says 86, but don't worry, let's go. Yes, uh, you you drive, so I'll I, I, I wait to you. I don't drive. <laughs> so, but when you check the current price as at November 2021, mm. averagely mm. we are selling at 6 cds 80 pesos. Mm. I know some OMCs are selling at 6 cds 90 pesos. Forgive me, and but this average, and even some are even selling at 6 cds 60, 65 pesos. 65 pesos. Yes. Mm. So that's why I said the average. Yes. yes. So as at November, some are, uh, the average price is 6 cds 80 pesos. Now, Dave, when you do the percentage, it means that between between January 2021 and November 2021, mm. petrol has been increased by at least percentage point of 41 percent. At least 41 percent, because mm. I know there are some fractions. Mm. Again, it's, petrol has been increased no less than 16 times mm. from January to November 2021. Mm. Now, David, when you come to the OMCs, they are arguing that five certain five categories of taxes levied on petroleum products should be scrapped. And David, let me state on record that the current price build up there are about 12 taxes that are currently on petroleum products indeed when you read from the institute of energy studies and all that you notice that our current price of about 60 to 80 pesos there are about 40 to 45 percent of taxes that is levied on such product mm. so the driver that give you that one the energy sector recovery levy must be taken out the sanitation and pollution levy must be taken off. The energy debt recovery levy must be taken off. The road fund levy must be taken off. The special petroleum levy must be taken off. Let me just give you a little bit of his history there. And before you do, for want of time, mm. um, we would want for you also to tell us about the